Hey guys, it's Trice here, and we're getting the most power out of these Nature Aspirated Boxer 4 and 6 engines. We're doing a double header of building these two engines. Just like my last engine build video, these two have a similar tuning to one another. Which is quite interesting in how this is laid out compared to these two engines, and my last one with the 094, 5, and 6 engine video. So let's get started with this Boxer 4 engine. So the first thing you gotta do is to go to the top left portion of your screen by setting the engine family year to maximize it to the year of 2020. And after selecting the Boxer 4 engine configuration, you may choose any of the four block materials you may choose from. We select magnesium for the sake of weight and pretty much mostly everything and some of the downsides with corrosion with water or something like that, something stupid like that. So for the bore and stroke here for the family capacity is you maximize this by squaring it to 120 millimeters each to get the engine size to 5,429 cubic centimeters for the Boxer 4 engine. With a dual overhead cam 5 valve made out of these, one of these three head materials you may choose from, choose aluminum silicon for the sake of weight. And for the quality sliders you see right here is you maximize this bad boy to a plus 15 for everything. Whether it's for the engine block in general, the bottom end, top end, the fuel system for the exhaust, you do this for everything. And right here beside the quality slider on the sandbox tech pull right here, you click on this to bring up this window. And in the engine tech section right here is you choose the plus 15 for everything for the engine in general, the bottom end, the top end. You may do this for the aspiration, but this really doesn't matter whatsoever for this video. And you add a plus 15 for the fuel system and for the exhaust system. And after you've done all that, click on the apply changes, and now let's get on to the bottom end right here. Which this bottom end, like the crank car rods, the pistons, the balancing bass, we gotta choose the strongest materials as possible. So for the crankshaft, we choose the built steel type of crankshaft with some lightweight titanium con rods and the pistons set to just regular forged pistons. With the balancing bass, we'll be choosing a harmonic damper no matter what for the boxer four and six engines. And the balancing bass right here for the counterweight slider right here is it's currently at 110 or about 2.2-ish pounds, but you maximize this to 220, which should implement this by roughly 34 pounds, but this could vary from how this is calculated on here, whether you're in pounds or kilograms. For the compression, it's pretty much the usual, the 16.0 to 1 ratio at an extreme level. Same thing for the cam profile at a 100, which is a full-blown racing setting. The springs and lifter is just like my last video, a 59, which is the pretty much the magic number out of this. And we'll be choosing some VVT at all cams with the RPM set to the also magic number of 8600 RPM. So for the fuel system, ignore the turbocharger because we'd be at your aspirated, so we'll be choosing a direct ejection throttle per cylinder for racing intake with the manifold size set to a 94. But the fuel type we're going to be using is good old nitromethane, based on the ones being used in top fuel dragsters, funny cars, or my last automation BBG video, which is my sleeper car, running on nitro fuel. With the ignition timing map right here, you set this to a negative 5, which means you'll advance it as much as possible, with the fuel mapping set to a 54, just 4 clicks up from the usual 50. And finally, for the headers, it exhausts all this good stuff, so for the headers, we choose the tubular racing headers with the header size set to a 91, a large boy, all right? The exhaust type we're using is a dual exhaust with the exhaust diameter set to 57.1 millimeters, or about 2.25 inches. And the usual, no cats and no mufflers, and finally, bring up that quality, give me a second here. So we get the final power rating of 2,288.9 horsepower at 8,600 RPM, and the torque at 1,406 pounds feet of torque at 8,500 RPM. So you're kind of thinking to yourself, according to the graph here, we should milk like maybe a few more harder RPM to like, what, gain more power, stuff like that, this and that. But unfortunately, if you go right here to the top end, if I were to increase the RPM as so, then we begin to lose power just like this. Which normally it should really do so, but it's kind of interesting at how this is laid out. So kids, the RPM movement, no matter what, 8600 RPM. Now heading on over to the Boxer 6 engine. So pretty much everything right here for the engine in general, whatever buck tree you may choose from, and keeping the board stroke as is to 120 millimeters, which should get the engine size with the Boxer 6 at 8143 cubic centimeters, around 8.1 liters. Same types of heads and valves, all that good stuff. The crate cow rods and pistons and the balancing bass here, also the same. And the top end in terms of the compression, cam profile, all this good stuff, also the same. The fuel system, surprisingly, also the same. 
and a majority of the exhaust is also the same except for the exhaust diameter size from the Boxer 4 of 57.1 millimeters to a 69.8 millimeters or 2.75 inches. This should now bring the final horsepower rating for the Boxer 6 at 3,436.8 horsepower at 8,600 RPM and the torque at 2,111.3 pounds feet of torque at 8,500 RPM. So yeah, it's very interesting compared to the inline 4, 5, and 6 engines and these Boxer 4 and 6 engines in terms of the tuning and everything. It's the same. It's the same no matter what, except for the exhaust size, which is the one that really matters to get the most power out of the, these particular engines, which is kind of weird. All right, for this part of the video, I'll give you a listen to what these two engines sound like right here. I'll start off with this Boxer 4 engine to show you the graph for a little bit and do some fake gear shifts very briefly with the Boxer 4 and the same thing with the Boxer 6 engine and we'll end up the video right then and there. So let's give you a listen of the first engine, the flat 4, Boxer 4, whatever you call it, right now. Subaru, Porsche, if you're listening to this, get on that level with this type of power band we got going here. There's ups and downs, ups and downs in terms of the torque and the power and this power torque reading in general. So that'll do it with automation the car company Tycoon gave with this powerful, naturally aspirated Boxer 4 and Boxer 6 engines. So it's just like my last video with the i4, 5, and 6 engines. The general tuning is the same except for the exhaust size. Again, it's quite interesting at how it works for naturally aspirated engines in this game. Also, I plan on moving on to the smallest, most torque engines, seeing that I'm getting a handful of requests for me to do those engines. I'll start on those in the near future. And for those who are interested in this type of content, please be sure to like and subscribe so you won't miss out on any videos like this in the future. So this is Tries Rising Up, and signing out.